One of the most common questions I receive around the holiday season is, what should I tell my kids about Santa Claus? And you know, I've seen this uh, in a number of different ways. I think the first one is you can simply tell the truth. You can simply tell your children the truth that Santa is uh, an imaginary character based on Saint Nick. But what I would really suggest doing in a situation like that is tell your children the true uh, the story, the true story about Saint Nick and who he was. Because the reality was is he actually secretly gave presents to people, not based on their behavior but just out of the grace and love that he had for people. And so there is a connection to who Jesus was and is in our lives today from the original Saint Nick, and we've just built him into this uh, fictional character, Santa Claus, today. The other option that you can take as it relates to your kids um, and talking to them about Santa Claus is one that most parents take today. It's the one that we take. And I remember uh, my wife, when she was growing up, her mom, uh, my mother-in-law, she uh, told her children when they started to question, uh, have questions about Santa or does he exist or, you know, does he really enter everybody's house through a chimney and those types of things. Uh, her one phrase that she used that we use with our kids today is that Santa is pretend and in our house we pretend. And so what it does is it sets you up so that you're not worried about, well, if I lie to my kids about Santa, will they think that I'm lying to them about Jesus? Because the reality is, is that the character of Santa actually points to Jesus in a lot of ways. And it's one of the ways that we do it with our kids. So for instance, when our son starts asking about, well, what does it mean to get coal for Christmas? Uh, you know, and, and we'll tell him, you know, well, that's, that's fictional, that's not real. Uh, nobody's going to get coal for Christmas. However, in the Bible, it states that if we don't confess of our sins and accept Jesus into our hearts, there is a difficult place that you're going to have to spend eternity at that kind of reminds you of coal. And, and so it, what it does is it points us to have conversations about Jesus each Christmas season. I think there's two mistakes that you can make along the way as it relates to talking to your kids about Santa. Number one is believing that your way is the right way and then therefore judging other families uh, about how they carry out their tradition and what they believe about Santa Claus. Uh, a quick um, uh, reading of Romans chapter 14 I think will really give us an understanding of let your convictions be your convictions. I think it's really important as a family that you pray through how it is you believe God is calling you to talk to your kids about Santa Claus. And then the second mistake that we can make is not referencing Jesus hardly at all. In other words, throughout Christmas, we make Christmas all about Santa and reindeer and elves uh, rather than making it about Jesus. And so in our home, we have 25 characters of the Christmas story throughout the Advent season that we walk our children through, and we're constantly pointing everything back to Jesus. So will we put milk and cookies out at Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, the night before? Uh, sure we will. But that pales in comparison to the birthday party that we actually hold for Jesus in our home. So there's a number of different ways that you can do this. Uh, you can tell your kids the truth. Uh, you can also... Uh, navigate and pretend and have imagination, but along the way, as your kids are asking questions, answer those questions uh, that they have, but use those questions as an opportunity to point them back to the real reason that we celebrate Christmas, and that's the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.